watching WKYT News at Noon. Good afternoon. The news continues on WKYT. We're approaching 1230. We have another day of wintry weather around the area. In addition to snow, much colder temperatures have arrived, too. <laughs> you could feel that. And it's a WKYT first alert severe weather day due to this bitter cold and the ongoing snow. Let's go to meteorologist Micah Harris for an update on things. Micah? Yeah, I've heard of reports on Twitter and on Facebook that we are seeing still some snow covered roads in some of these neighborhoods, back roads, that it's just hard to get that snow off the roads because once you get it off, here comes another snow shower rolling on through Frankfurt at 23 degrees. The main roads, though, look at your mountain parkway. If you're going to be traveling that anytime soon, it's 22. Does not look bad, boy. You can see all the pavement on the mountain parkway. And that goes for London, too, across I 75. Frankfurt still getting some snow showers along with Lexington, but you can still see the roads outside. Just not heavy snow out of this. So very light snow. But still, with the cold temperatures, it's a good bet that we will have some slick roads in the next six to seven days. We'll get some breaks here and there, especially there on that Thursday and off towards your Saturday time frame. But still, snow, it's going to be an issue for the next several days. It takes you into next week. And I talked about it this morning that the only positive we have in this forecast, besides that 30 and Saturday time frame, is after the several days are over, then we're talking about about 10 days out. We start to see a warm up. That's a long ways away, but each and every single day in those 10 days, we're talking about a snow chance. We're going to get into that. I'm going to show you how much you can expect in that span and also look for or look towards your weekend, too, coming up in just a few minutes. All right, Mike. I see you then. The snowy weather has sent drivers slipping and sliding in southern Kentucky today. One of the problem spots this morning included Echo Valley Road between London and Corbin. While there is not a great deal of snow or ice out there, deputies say drivers still need to be extra careful. We've had uh, numerous traffic crashes on the side roads. We've had at least one on the interstate, but most of our crashes are occurring on the county roads. Some of them that's been striped, but still got slick spots. And what's happening is people are driving along at speed limits uh, and they're hitting slick spots and they're running into the ditch. Police say they did not receive any reports of injuries. And with temperatures dropping, volunteers are preparing to help the homeless. The Compassionate Caravan will be out in Lexington this evening. The caravan will give the homeless rides to a shelter or provide them with blankets or other warm items. If you'd like to help with the caravan, you can join it at 6 o'clock at 772 Winchester Road in Lexington. Now, remember, you can stay up to date on the forecast as well as closings and weather headlines. Just download the WKYT News app for your iPhone or Android phone. A Hollywood star paid a visit to state lawmakers in Frankfurt this morning. Actress and West Virginia native Jennifer Garner testified before several committees asking lawmakers to support the Save the Children Foundation. WKYT's Mark Barber has more on the visit. It's not a normal day here in Frankfurt. Several lawmakers have joked that Jennifer Garner's presence is going to break all their committee meeting attendance records. While many of her fans are following her around the Capitol, her focus is on lawmakers and asking them to continue supporting the Save the Children Foundation. The West Virginia native, who is well known for her starring roles in Hollywood blockbusters, started her day by eating breakfast with the governor. When Garner and the foundation's president, Mark Shriver, met in committee meetings to testify before lawmakers, she started by saying that she was glad to be back in Kentucky. Between meetings, she took time to take pictures with fans who came to hear her speak. Garner is asking lawmakers to continue supporting the Save the Children Foundation because they're seeing results. Literary test results for 90% of their pre K children here in Kentucky show the kids are ready for kindergarten. The foundation helps young children prepare for school. They focus on low income families that often don't have access to resources like books, puzzles, and educators. Garner says she is so invested in education here because she grew up in Appalachia. When I finished first, first grade, friends of mine stayed behind. And when I finished third grade, they were still in first grade and they disappeared and I never saw them again. Garner says she's not just here to speak with lawmakers. She says tomorrow morning she will be heading to Clay County to speak with students at Manchester Elementary School who are seeing tremendous success through their foundation. In Frankfurt, Mark Barber, WKYT. Now, the foundation receives $1 million a year from the state, and in turn, they invest $10 million in their Kentucky programs. 
Attorney General Andy Bashir and First Lady Glenna Bevan are teaming up for another program to protect Kentucky children. They're launching statewide training to teach local leaders to identify and properly report sexual abuse. There will be about 20 training sessions statewide. We can save our children from a lifetime of fear. We can save our children from a lifetime of harms. We can save them from that scarring, but only if all Kentuckians realize and remember that preventing child abuse isn't just our moral obligation, it's the law. The Attorney General's office says each day their investigators seize more than 250 online child pornography images. Katina Powell, the woman at the center of a scandal at the University of Louisville, was a guest on Matt Jones' Kentucky Sports Radio this morning. She says she believed that Coach Rick Pitino knew about the parties that they, she said were happening in the dormitory. TV cameras were not allowed in, but Jones streamed the interview on Periscope. Powell told him between 2010 and 2014, she and other women went to Minardi Hall to strip for players and recruits. Last week, the university announced a self-imposed ban on this year's postseason play. Powell said that she feels bad for the two seniors who will not get a shot at the tournament. I feel like a lot of people were punished that were innocent for what? Meaning who? Meaning these two guys that they're saying won't. So like what Damian Lee and Trey Lewis not playing right. the tournament, that bothers you? Yes, it does. Why does yes. it bother you? Because, because they didn't do anything. They did, they, they did nothing. I, I didn't know of those guys. I, I, they had nothing to do with this. They, they had nothing to do with it whatsoever. Powell also said that she believed that Coach Rick Pitino was aware. Pitino has denied that he had any knowledge of what Powell says was going on. Deputies saved an injured man from his wrecked car just minutes before a train hit it. These are pictures from the scene in Boone County. The sheriff's office says the victim tried to stop at the tracks but slid on ice and hit a moving train. As deputies tried to help him, they learned another train was on the way and it wasn't stopping. Deputies pulled the man out before the second train hit the car. He suffered minor injuries. No deputies were hurt. Both Indiana and Ohio have their first cases of Zika. In Ohio, a Cleveland woman contracted the Zika virus. She had just returned from Haiti. Indiana's case involves a person who also just returned from Haiti. The mosquito-borne virus has been linked to birth defects. We checked with state health officials in Kentucky. So far, there are no cases, no confirmed cases of the Zika virus here. Well, it's Fat Tuesday. The celebrations are not limited to New Orleans, though. Lexington restaurant Bourbon in Toulouse is partying all day long to mark the end of Mardi Gras. They're serving up Gator Etouffee, something that you can only get on Fat Tuesday or when UK plays Florida in football or basketball. It's really uh, tasty food. You know, it's, it's flavorful. I like call it fun food. You know, there's really a, a, a great uh, variety of, of flavors and, you know, a little bit of heat. The festivities today include a crawfish boil, which starts tonight at 6.30. The restaurant has 400 pounds of live crawfish flown in just fresh this morning for that big party. Looks like big time over there. Yeah, doing it upright. Well, does parenting style contribute to a child's ADHD? Also, more evidence of the long-lasting, deadly effects of concussions. Coming up in our Better Living Report. So we know we're going to have snow, at least the chance of it every single day. But how low do these temperatures go? Because this isn't even the coldest day in your forecast. So I'll have that coming up next. Today, it's the talks Mardi Gras madness. With Scott Bakula from NCIS New Orleans, plus the hunky Joe Manganello. Hope he's ready to work for these. Show me something, Papa. The talk Mardi Gras on CBS. Wow! Welcome to Earth, too. Hey, handsome. They could be stuck there forever. At Belterra Casino Resort, you'll discover that the time of your life is best shared with good company. That every moment is worth savoring. And that some nights should never have to end. Belterra Casino Resort.
your everyday escape. You can be sure of a Toyota RAV4's all-wheel drive capability because AMCI testing shows RAV4 outperforming other SUVs in snow. Acceleration, RAV4 beats Honda CRV while Subaru Forester is slowest. Braking, RAV4 stops 50 feet before CRV and 83 feet sooner than Forester. Now, you can lease the newly restyled 2016 RAV4 for just $209 a month. Toyota, let's go places. These little chickies and little doggies are small, but they're intense. Oh, yeah, small but intense, like my niece Hannah. Oh, yeah. And you uh, take karate? Yes, yeah, she does. Show them how intense you are, Hannah. Yeah, yeah! Ah! Oh, my God. Hey! Yes. Now finish him. Bow to her, Peter. I'm gonna bow to it. Bow to her, Peter. Big flavor and a little package. New little chickies and little doggies. And grab a burrito and drink for $3 delivered in two minutes, guaranteed. This is how you Sonic. Up to now, affording a beautiful smile has been, well, sketchy. Doctors Durbin, Walks, and Garner are offering an unheard of offer. No down payment and only $175 for 24 months on orthodontic treatment. Learn more at clearchoicesmile.com. Hey guys, it's Deanne Stevens for Sleep Outfitters. Be sure to join us Saturday morning for some exciting President's Day weekend deals. Sleep Outfitters on WKYT. The Nighthawk Special, only $13.99 this week at Columbia Steakhouse. Get WKYT news and weather updates on 98.1 The Bull. On this first alert severe weather day, we're going to be holding on to those snow chances all day long. It's on and off. Some are seeing extremely light snow. Others are actually getting a little light accumulation, especially east and southeast of Kentucky. But check this out. I'll step out of the way. The whole state of Kentucky is under a winter weather advisory until tomorrow. And, and what you're going to be seeing here tomorrow, the reason why it goes into tomorrow uh, morning for most, is because once we get into the night and into tomorrow morning, that's when the most of it comes flying on through. And then tomorrow afternoon, we kind of push some things on out. Let's look and see what's going on across the radar network. And down toward the southeast, this area has picked up some light accumulation, no doubt about that. Maybe even upwards of two inches of snow when it's all said and done for today. We're going to add on to that as we go throughout the next few days. We work our way back toward the west and northwest. Still, if you're heading down 64 all the way to Louisville, there have been some snow showers here and there. They've put a light little coating there on the road, so keep that in mind. And that goes for down the BG Parkway through Nelson County, Bardstown, all the way to E-Town, and then make your way southbound across 65. It's going to be a tough go at it. Temperatures are in the 20s. Obviously, anything that falls out of the sky, it will be snow and it will stick. We're at 22 degrees now in the Laurel County area. When we get into the rest of the afternoon. It's not going to really rise that much more. Maybe two degrees. Kids coming home from school. Some kids did go to school today. Not everybody was out today. Think about that. Some did go to school today. The kids coming home should not be worried about the kids coming home. It's going to be cold, but obviously, I say obviously, hopefully you sent a jacket along with them. Uh, but maybe running into a few snowflakes. I don't see any issues there on the roads, though, in terms of just absolutely throwing a lot of snow on there. It's very light, and uh, we shouldn't have many problems there on the roads later on today. Here's the look going into tomorrow morning. Spotty snow showers. What does that mean? Well, that means that some of us are going to see it. Some of us are not. I was talking to someone here. Uh, that works here just about two or three hours ago saying, I woke up with snow-covered roads. I live here in Lexington, so does she. She did not see the snow-covered roads. That's the way it's going to be as we continue to travel off into the night and into tomorrow morning. So some, once again, kids may be home. Some just may be going off to school. So it's just one of those things you're going to have to wake up and look on WKYT.com slash closings or we'll get you updated on WKYT News in the morning. And it, it will hopefully, hopefully, I, I don't know. It kind of depends on which parent it is. But a lot of parents will go, just get my kid to school, okay? Just get him out of here. So uh, we'll, we'll see how it turns out. But it's just going to be a headache of a forecast the next seven days. And, and one after another. Yeah, big decisions, you know, by the superintendents and all of them having yeah. to decide uh, what they're going to do. That's true. You know. yeah. Yeah. All, all right. right. Thanks, Micah. Researchers find a link between concussions and suicide and the role that parents may play in their children's ADHD. Hannah Daniels has details in this better living report. Criticism from parents may play a role in attention deficit disorder symptoms in kids. That's according to new research from the American Psychological Association. Scientists tracking hundreds of families found ADHD symptoms were persistent in children of harshly critical and overprotective parents. 
Researchers in Canada say adults who have had a concussion are three times more likely to commit suicide. Authors of the study warn physicians may be underestimating the effects of concussion. And a possible new treatment for jet lag from scientists at Stanford University. They found sleeping patients who were exposed to short flashes of light adjusted more quickly to sleep cycle changes. Those are some of the day's top health stories. Hannah Daniels for CBS News, New York. Well, boating, fishing, hunting, you name it, you'll find everything you need for the great outdoors. Yeah, we're going to be thinking about spring here in a bit, even with the cold weather, all about the Kentucky Sport Boat and Recreation Show that starts later in the week, next on WKYT. It's the President's Day Sale at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Save big on legendary Lazy Boy comfort and quality. Find great deals on recliners, sofas, love seats, sectionals, and more. Plus special financing. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. I'm Alex Trebek. If you're age 50 to 85, I have an important message about security. Write down the number on your screen so you can call when I finish. The lock I want to talk to you about isn't the one on your door. This is a lock for your life insurance, a rate lock that guarantees your rate can never go up at any time for any reason. But be careful. Many policies you see do not have one. But you can get a lifetime rate lock through the Colonial Pen Program. Call this number to learn more. This plan was designed with a rate lock for people on a fixed income who want affordable life insurance that's simple to get. Coverage options for just $9.95 a month, less than 35 cents a day. Act now and your rate will be locked in for life. It will never increase. Guaranteed. This is lifelong coverage that can never be canceled as long as you pay your premiums. Guaranteed. And your acceptance is guaranteed, with no health questions. You cannot be turned down because of your health. Call for your information kit and read about this rate lock for yourself. You'll also get a free gift with great information. Both are free, with no obligation. Don't miss out. Call for information, then decide. Read about the 30-day 100% money-back guarantee. Don't wait. Call this number now. Call 1-800-440-4200 for your free information and a free gift. There's no obligation. That's 1-800-440-4200. Or visit us online at colonialpen.com. That number again is 1-800-440-4200. 1-800-440-4200. Call now. Did your family set a goal to become healthier in the new year? One family did and lost 300 pounds at Ageless. Bruce lost 92 pounds, Adam lost 64 pounds, and Catherine lost 151 pounds. For a medically supervised affordable weight loss solution, call Ageless today for a free consultation. Considering bankruptcy? Call Atkinson, Sims, and Kermode. Start your bankruptcy for only $78 now. Dial 859-CALL-ASK for your free consultation. Stay connected to the news that matters to you. Like WKYT on Facebook. It's the President's Day Sale at Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Save big on legendary Lazy Boy comfort and quality. Find great deals on recliners, sofas, love seats, sectionals, and more. Plus special financing. Lazy Boy Furniture Galleries. Live life comfortably. Welcome back to WKYT News. Only two more days until Central Kentucky's largest and longest running outdoor expo comes to Lexington. It's the Kentucky Sport Boat and Recreation Show, and it opens Thursday. And that means we can start really thinking about spring. <laughs> right. We're joined by John Myers, the owner of Backwater Outfitters, to tell us what we can expect. Welcome. Glad well, to have you. you here. Thank you for inviting me. Uh, let me get started by thanking you folks, because I, if I understand right, the Lexington Sport and Recreation Show is about 30 years old, and WKYT has started it, and they've carried it through. So, pure evidence that can, that WKYT stands well, for. We Kentucky. appreciate that. Yeah, and, uh, appreciate nice of you to say. By the certainly. way, Barb and I were around for the first one. So. <laughs> yes. It's been a while. It's yes. been a while, but well, it's been fun the whole way. And great, it always is. Great. Very we love the boat show. It's kind of our Super Bowl, if you know what I mean. Uh, this year, great lineup this year. Uh, we've kind of partnered with uh, WKYT on some, some things. We've got a good lineup this year. We have uh, two of our BASS Elite Pros that are going to be with us this year. 
Um, John Cruz will be there with me on Friday, and he's going to be doing some seminars. And then we have a special guest, Gerald Swindell. Gerald Swindell is widely known throughout the country for his, his fishing techniques. He's been on the top of the list. He's, he's quite a comedian. He's going to put on quite a show. We're really looking forward to seeing Gerald here. Well, all we need are the people to come down there. That's right. It, it's really a good time because if people make their plans now, and then they're ready when the, when the weather hits and, and can go out it and is. enjoy. It is. Typically, it's, uh, it's in winter, obviously, when we have the show, and it's always cold. So, you know, um, there's not much to do. So, you know, right, we encourage people, get out and get the kids, get your wife, get your girlfriend, somebody else's girlfriend, just bring them. <laughs> Doesn't matter. Just come on come down on to the boat show because Enjoy. there's a lot to do at the boat show. You know, he's got Ben's uh, prepared to get the zip line is back. Mm -hmm. Rosie's ponies are there again. Yeah. The trout uh, tank is there for the kids. Um, boats, boats are everywhere, yeah. you know, so we've got some great participation from uh, Central Kentucky and, and I think a couple of surrounding states as Including well. Including for those who, uh, you know, may just be getting ready to get into boating or into fishing. Right? That's right. Some, uh, that's right. There's people, we meet people every day who come through our doors and say, can you help me get started? Well, that's mm -hmm. what we're there for. We're not only a, a business to just sell you a product. We're a business that can teach you how to use a product. Same as you see um, if you go into one of the boat shops. You know, they're going to show you how to operate that boat. They'll take you and put you on the water. You know, everybody's here to help, not right. just to sell. And That's always right. Some, you always know, a lot of fun. Good food and other things as well. And we so. hope people will come on down to Rep Arena and Heritage Hall. That is starting this Thursday. This Thursday, All 2 right. p.m. Hey, we're glad you came by. Thanks a lot. Thank you. We'll see you down there. Thank you. Coming next, are you planning a perfect Valentine's Day for your sweetheart? Well, one of the greatest love stories of all time is coming to the Lexington Opera House next on WKYT. Welcome to MomsEveryday.com on WKYT. I'm Amber Canoy, and we are at Kevin's Carpet with Diana talking about hardwood. As a mother, I get a little scared sometimes about ruining my hardwood. What advice can you offer us? Well, if you already haven't chosen your hardwood, I would recommend maybe going with a hardwood that already has character built in. It has these chatter marks and already has some lived on effects that will help you when you have accidents and things happen. It'll just look like it's part of the floor that is just aged in your home. What about if we already have flooring that isn't this type of look? I would recommend checking all the bottoms of your chairs and your legs, put those little protector mats on. I would also do walk-off mats by your front door, and I would do maybe an area rug in some of your really lived-in areas to help protect the floor. All right, and of course they can visit you all at kevinscarpet.com. We share the road with over 5 million commercial vehicles, like tractor trailers and delivery vehicles. But quite often, the businesses and corporations that employ these drivers choose profit over safety or reason, putting us all at risk. If you or your loved one has been injured or disabled due to a wreck with a commercial vehicle, you may be unable to work and the medical bills might be piling up. Spencer Law Group will help you understand your rights. Call today for a free consultation. We're walking the streets delivering a simple message. Where there's smoke, there could be fire. This is the start of a five-year program with our partner, Kentucky Power, to install smoke detectors in local neighborhoods. The smoke alarms are free. The only thing we ask is they let us show them how to use them. Doesn't matter how cold it is outside, how early they got up that morning, or how far they've walked, they know that they've possibly saved a life. We may be a power company, but the true power in our communities comes from our people. In Kentucky, elder abuse is on the rise. Most nursing home residents say nothing in fear of retaliation. Watch for signs, bruises, scratches, bed sores, and cues in body language. If you suspect nursing home abuse, you need to seek justice. Call Hughes and Coleman, 800-800-4600, 800-800-4600, before it's too late. Yo! No thank you for the bag, man. I hooked you up, bro. Try getting a deal like that from some other bag. Tired of value, meaning boring food? Checkers and Rally's mouth-watering two-for-two deal is back. Your favorite irresistible crispy fish with Alaskan filet. Or our delicious, boldly seasoned spicy chicken sandwich. Mix or match them for a $2 steal you won't find on any value menu. Only at Checkers and Rally's. Epic meals, epic deals. I'm WKYT Sam Dick, and I stand for Kentucky. 
We're so glad you're here just in time for Valentine's Day. One of the world's greatest love stories comes to life on stage. The Lexington Ballet presents Romeo and Juliet. It's really perfect timing, right? Luis Dominguez, who is the artistic director of the Lexington Ballet, is joining us. Welcome. Good to see you. Thank you so much for having me. What a perfect Valentine's performance. This is great. It's going to be fantastic. I am so excited. You know, three acts. It's uh, the Romeo and Juliet. They call it the most uh, excellent and lamentable story of Romeo and Juliet. That's the original title. And I'm so happy, you know, when I, whenever I, when I said I'm going to set out to do this, the next question was like, how? <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> you know, with what I have. But mm -hmm. it's going along great. The, the, the sets are wonderful. Three acts. The looks are totally different, and it's the classic story, yeah. you know, it's just all of it. Ian, this does not <clears throat> come together by itself. You've been working on this for some time, and you have a lot of people working with you to bring this wonderful production to the stage. Sure. It's, uh, it's amazing to have a team that gets it, you know, and when they don't get it, your job is to, like, really push. You, you have an opportunity here to do yeah. something, you know. There's, the music is Sergei Prokofiev, and the more you hear it, the more you understand the genius behind it and mm -hmm. to, to give, to have that opportunity to take that on and, and fly with it, it's my job to, to, to take it seriously, you know, it only comes once in a lifetime and, and the, the dancers are looking great, my Romeo and Juliet are newly engaged, so that helps. Mm -hmm. How sweet <laughs> is that? Oh, yeah. man. That's yes. cool. It, it has to be so exciting for you when you see it at this stage where it's all coming together, but now is the opportunity to share it with people. Your yes. performances are, yes, are, are Saturday uh, and Saturday Sunday? Saturday and Sunday, and the easiest way to go there, uh, lexingtonballet.org, a few clicks away, you, you'll get tickets. Uh, hurry, because they are selling, I think, the, the, the title and the date. It's all helping. It's a, it's a great thing to do. You're going to be, it is a tragedy, but it is also a comedy, mm -hmm. and there's so much to to like really forget your life for a little bit and just fall in love yeah. all over again. Get lost I in love the opera it. house. Fall in love all over again. <laughs> Thank it's you always very good much. to see Thank you. For Thanks having for me coming guys. in. Having to keep our eye on weather as we just have opportunity after opportunity for snow over the next few days. Micah? Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to stop anytime soon. Just looked at newer uh, weather data just a second ago. Thursday is actually turning out to be a pretty decent looking day. Not so much filling day. We might even drop that 40% to maybe 20 or 30%. So we're dropping it a little bit. Looks more likely that we're going to have a break there on Thursday and maybe off toward the weekend too. But you can see, guys, I guess it doesn't really matter. Five out of seven days, we're still looking at good snow chances and very, very cold temperatures all the way into next week. Okay, the good old winter time continues. <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> the Young and the Restless is next, followed by the talk at 2. Thanks for being here for WKYT News at noon. Next newscast at 4.